who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth. From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from the dung he, he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes. Yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home, and gladdens her heart with children. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come now and forever. Amen. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. You have given birth to the Creator of the world, you who are ever virgin. Alleluia. How great is your name, O Lord, our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens. On the lips of children and of babes you have found praise to foil your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind? Mortal man that you care for him. Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him. Gave him power over the works of your hand. Put all things under his feet. All of them sheep and cattle. Yes, even the savage beasts. Birds of the air and fish that make their way through the water. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to the God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You have given birth to the Creator of the world, you who are ever virgin. Alleluia. You are the glory of Jesus. You are the joy of your people. Alleluia. Alleluia. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoar frost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. 
He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. <coughs> he has not taught them his decrees. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You are the glory of Jesus. You are the joy of your people. Alleluia. Blessed be our Father, who has blessed us in Christ. Alleluia. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the Lord us in Christ, every, every spiritual, spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in Him before the world began to be holy and blameless in His sight. He predestined us to be His adopted Son through Jesus Christ. Such was His will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor He has bestowed on us in His beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ. A plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time to bring all things into one in Him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed be our Father, who has blessed us in Christ. Alleluia. St. Paul to the Romans. Those God predestined, He likewise called. Those He called, He also justified. And those He justified, He in turn glorified.
mode 8. Via da medice and omnes generationes, qui a fecit mihi mania, qui bodens est alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. and omnes generationes, qui a fecit vigi mania, qui bodens est alleluia. Let us praise God, our Almighty Father, who wished that Mary, his son's mother, be celebrated by each generation. Now in need we ask. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. O God, work with miracles. You made the Immaculate Virgin Mary share body and soul in your Son's glory in heaven. Direct the hearts of your children to that same glory. You made Mary our mother. Through her intercession, grant strength to the weak, comfort to the sorrowing, pardon to sinners, salvation and peace to all. You made Mary full of grace. Grant all men the joyful abundance of your grace. Make your church of one mind and one heart in love. And help all those who believe to be one in prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. Pray for Father Francesco, for Scott, for all those who've asked for our prayers. For our students as they finish their hike, especially for Rachel, a one year anniversary before she gets married. Today, for our benefactors and their intentions. You crowned Mary, Queen of Heaven. May all the dead rejoice in your kingdom with the saints forever. Pater Noster. Qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adenia regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tuum, 
Sicur in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum, da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra. Sicur et nos dimitimus, debitorimus nostris. And in us in du grass and tentation, said libera nos amam. Let us pray. O God, who, looking on the lowliness of the Blessed Virgin Mary, raised her to this grace, that your only begotten Son was born of her according to the flesh, and that she was crowned this day with surpassing glory, Grant to her prayers that, saved by the mystery of your redemption, we may merit to be exalted by you on high. <clears throat> to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us and also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of August the 15th. Solemnity of the Assumption the mystery of the glorification of the Mother of God's Immaculate Soul and Virginal Body at the end of her earthly life. The Assumption is the Patronal Feast of France, for she was dedicated to Our Lady under this title in 1638 by King Louis the Thirteenth. In the thirteenth, in the third century, Saint Tarsisius, a young Roman Christian killed for having refused to profane the Eucharistic body of Christ, which he was carrying with him. The year of grace, 1568, St. Stanislaus Kostka, a young Polish prince of a pure and resolute character. He studied in Vienna. Afterwards, at 16, he entered the Jesuit novitiate at Rome under the recommendation of St. Peter Canisius, but barely six months later, he was called to God. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of a numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life.